Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the latest version of my dot files in version 2.5. This version includes a lot of improvements for Hyperland and Qtile and several new features. The Hyperland scripts have been restructured completely. Now includes a new Rofi script to show the current key bindings and Weber includes a new blurred theme. Qtile now comes with initial Wayland support and the X11 version now includes a switcher where you can switch between the standard Qtile status bar and polybar. A completely new installation script is chipped with the .files 2.5 and this new script will guide you through the whole installation process, can create a backup of previous .files installations and the script also includes a function to disable a current running display manager for better Hyperland compatibility. Please be aware that every Arch Linux installation is super individual, super customized. And that's why I cannot 100% guarantee that my dot files will work on all configurations. But give it a try. And if you come to an issue, to a problem, please also consult the Hyperland and Qtile documentations. Both are definitely best in class. Enough with the introduction. Let's see the dot files 2.5 in action. Welcome to my Hyperland desktop in the version 2.5. The first thing that I want to show you is the key binding Rofi. Uh, you can start this with the right click on apps. And you have here all key bindings listed that are defined on Hyperland. The second new feature is a new Weber theme. You see here, this is the standard light theme, but you can switch it by clicking here on the three dots. You can also switch to a dark version of the theme. You can choose that theme that fits best to your wallpaper, to your environment and to your needs. But there is now a new version of the theme. It's a version with a blur background. Yeah, now you have here the blur background and it's light. You can switch also to blur dark and you can switch to blur colored. When I switch the wallpaper with super key shift W, it also looks very nice with several wallpapers. And the contrast with the blurred background is sometimes a bit better on the wallpapers. This is also nice. This is, for example, a very light background. Here in that case, you can switch to dark. And now all the information in Weber are very well readable. And as always, I have also a bottom version implemented. So when you click here on blur bottom dark, and then you have the blurred version here also at the bottom. Okay, let's switch back to the blur light at the top. And Weber now supports persistent workspaces. You see here by default, there are five workspaces activated, but you can also go, of course, to the seventh workspace and work with that. And when you close the terminal in the seventh work workspace and switch to another workspace, you see Again, five persistent workspaces are back. What I also want to show you is that the dot files are now cleaned up. So when you open the dot files folder and open, for example, here the configuration of Hyperland, you see that there is a new script folder where all the Hyperland related scripts are stored now. And you find in the folder conf, all configurations of your Hyperland setup, for example, the monitor settings, the um, key bindings, the keyboard layout, and so on. Another new feature is um, that you can toggle all windows that are floating. You know, you can bring a window to the floating world with super key T back to the tiling mode with super key shift T. And when you enter super key shift T, they are again 
in floating mode. And you can bring the windows back to the tiling mode with super key shift T. Welcome to my Qtile X11 desktop. And you see on top that the new status bar is based on the Qtile standard status bar, but with the Qtile extra package. You see here two quick start buttons to open the browser and to open the file manager. And Qtile looks very nice on X11 with PyCom support. In the Qtile configuration file, the config.py, you can find this new section to define the decoration for the separators on the left side of the status bar and the decoration right to define the decorations on the right side. At the moment I use arrow left, but when I switch here to rounded left and save the file and reload the configuration with super key shift R, you see that you have now here rounded separators. And you can do the same on the right side. Save the configuration and reload. And now you have also rounded separators on the right side. Yeah, You can also switch to forward slash on the right side. Now you have the forward slash separators and you can do the same on the right side. Here we are. And also this looks very nice. And you can use also backward slash on the right side. And now you have forward slash on the left side, backward slash on the right side. If you like more polybar, then you can do another trick. With super key shift S, you can switch on the fly to back to polybar. And then you have the full polybar features. But you can also switch back to the standard status bar of Qtile with super key shift S. You can change the wallpaper with super key shift W. With super key shift W you switch again. Rofi pops up with super key control return and it's using the background wallpaper. Let's switch the wallpaper again with super key control return. Here is Rofi and you can start, for example, Tuna, the file manager. Let me quickly show you how you can install my dot files on your Arch Linux installation. I'm here in a very basic Arch Linux system and I first need to open the console and make sure that git is installed with sudo pacman hyphen s git. And git is now installed on the system. Now I have to cd into the downloads folder and download the dot files from my repository with git clone https gitlab.com slash stefan hyphen rabe slash dot files dot git and the download is done now i can cd into the dot files folder and i can start the installation script with dot slash install this is the welcome screen and i want to start the installation now a temporary folder is now created in a new folder dot files version and within the subfolder 2.5. And this is the folder where the dot files will be prepared for your system before activation. I will install Hyperland. Yay is not yet installed. That's why the script asked me to proceed with the installation of Yay to get access to the Arch user repository. And Yay is now installed. And the core packages of Hyperland and my dot files will be installed now. Okay, the installation of the packages is done and the script now asks to install wallpapers. I will 
use the three default wallpapers from the dot files and that's why I enter N for no. And then the script will not download the whole wallpaper repository from my GitLab server. Next, important. For Hyperland, it's recommended to start the window manager from the TTY, from the command line. And the script now asks to disable the active display manager. And this is what I want to do now. I confirm with yes. It's GDM and GDM will now be deactivated. Instead, I will install the TTY login issue. I enter yes. And now we can start a setup to enter the preferred keyboard layout. Default is US, but I enter DE for Germany. And now we are ready to install the dot files. Before I continue, let me open the prepared dot files. You see here a new folder, dot files version, and in this the subfolder 2.5. And this is your prepared installation of the dot files. Now you have a chance to still tweak a bit. Yeah, so I open, for example, Hyper, the configuration, and the monitor file with the text editor. And I change now the screen resolution to 1920 to 1080. I save the file and we can also check again if the keyboard layout is set up correctly again with the text editor and you see here that the keyboard layout is correctly set to DE. Okay, then we can close it again and I can install the dot files with Y and that's it. The dot files are now activated and I can reboot the system. And this is the TTY login with the custom issue. And I can log in with my username and my password. And you see that message start hyperland with the command hyperland. And here's hyperland with the German keyboard layout and the right screen resolution. And the dot files have been activated. And the same also works, of course, with Qtile. And with the installation of Qtile, you will install the X11 version and the Wayland version. So have fun with it. And that's it. The dot files 2.5 with a lot of enhancements and improvements for Hyperland and Qtile. In upcoming videos, I will guide you through some details and will share tips and tricks for Hyperland and Qtile. With that, Thanks for watching and see you next time.